Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real L Guy. Zzz. Zzz. <laughs> um, here is the 36 point ginger porter that I collaboration brewed with Shepherd Neem. So it's the Real L Guy, Shepherd Neem, or vice versa, ginger porter. This is the pump clip where it's being sold in Kent, in Faversham, in the surrounding area. So if you're around the area, you see that. Give the drink a go. Give the drink a go. So, do you want to? Is this my glass? Yeah, if you like. Do you want to pour some out? Yeah. So what are you getting then? Start describing the beer now. Just giving it a, a smell at the moment. It smells good. It actually smells really sweet. And it's really, really dark. That's from the chocolate hops. Um, chocolate hops. The chocolate malts, isn't it? That we put in. You put in last. Absolutely black beer. Have a nice head you've got on there. Yep. There you go. Look at that. What scent are you getting? Small one finger head. Kind of a chocolatey coloured caramel head which is fading quite quickly. Let's get the nose. It smells chocolatey with oh. such a subtle, subtle, subtle hint of ginger. Yeah. It has been boiling it's there. today. It's definitely there. And you've just come in from work. Yeah, I have to apologise. It's not like October face. at all. It's just broken the, the temperature record for the 1st of October. It's 20, I think it's 27 degrees where we are right now. But I can drink these type of drinks at Porters and Cheers. Stouts all year round. The nose is... Can you smell the ginger? You can, you definitely get that fresh ginger in there, but it mixes well with the chocolate yeah. malt. So you really get yeah. that that first bag of chocolate malt we got in there. I think we put five, was it five or six bags of malt, and then just a small amount small, of the chocolate tiny, malt. Tiny, tiny compared to all the malt that went in there. It's a tiny amount. And of look at the colour. The dark malt has dominated the the colour of the you don't beer. Don't need much to. Get the colour out of it. I'm ready to wet my whistle. I am very thirsty. Cheers. Cheers. That's not tasting. It's just drinking. Oh. The the zinginess of the ginger is it was kind of I was getting that zing as I was drinking it. And then it's quickly followed with the, the roasted, the coffee, <coughs> the, the roasted malt. And there's, there's chocolate in there. It's, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's a ginger porter. And it's just sweet, isn't it? Any sweeter would be too much. And any less, you know, less sweetness there it would be again it would be too bitter so the bitterness how how um how would you how bitter would you say it was it is it is quite quite bitter it is quite bitter but then also you mentioned the sweetness yeah it's quite it balances that classic blended together english british bittersweet yeah drink you get. Combined nicely. Yeah. I can see this doing really well um, down at the the local pubs in Faversham. So the ginger, it's so subtle isn't it? It's definitely there. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah it's definitely, definitely there. Um, but it's not in any way overpowering. No. I think, I think you get more of the the roasted malts. Yeah, yeah. You definitely get more of the what, roasted malts. That's what you want. It's a porter, isn't it? You don't want. You don't. Mm. 
if it, if it was really strong in ginger, you'd have to, to take that bite of the ginger where you have to sweeten it. Yeah. And then if you were to sweeten it, you'd spoil what you're making. I think Stuart's got the balance perfect because if you enjoy a stout and a porter, porter was being the old London name for a dark drink and the Irish called it a stout which was a little bit more in price but porters are definitely coming back with a bang they're using the word porter in so many drinks I've reviewed over the last few months it's definitely a, a name which they're bringing trying to re, re, reinvigorate revive revive and re, yeah reinvigorate revive so um, as I was just about to mention if you were to go into the pub this is uh, this is definitely not one of these speciality beers where you just want one of. This is a beer which has been brewed, so you could probably enjoy three or four of these. I certainly could, especially yeah. if you like your dark stouts. The ginger that has been put in there has a very subtle taste, because I think, like Mal just mentioned, if they put more of that ginger flavour in, then I really think that <coughs> it, it would, would be a one... Away. Yeah. You could, could make it as a porter if you were to do that, I don't think. Yeah, it'd be a one drink wonder. One of them drinks you think, oh, I want, I want to try that, but never really go back to. But what they've done here is to create a beer which you can most definitely, you, you, you'd finish your pint and go back to the bar. Most definitely, most definitely. It is, it's been sitting here, our, our, our kitchen is dark and cool, but it's been, it's been hot since it's been yeah. delivered the last couple of days yeah. it got delivered yesterday it's been left to settle it is quite cool but I, I think a couple of degrees cooler would make it absolutely perfect I think yeah it is a shame because mm. we should be in stout season now or porter season I mean yeah but we're having freak we're having weather a free, yeah freak, freak weather freak heat wave which we can't really complain about yeah because Everyone enjoys it. Mel is going out tonight. I'm going out. And she's um, she's going out to a real ale festival mm. in Weatherspoons, and she's going to try but some you real ale. Mention that. No, no, it's fine. And she's going to take some pictures over Twitter and send them send them to me. Oh, what they no, got no the pressure bar. or anything. So I'm supposed to be going out to enjoy myself. Yeah, you can send some <laughs> send some of the pub clips if you would. But she's leaving me, the point is she's leaving me with this. If you could just and move the to the children. side a little bit. She's leaving me with this. And the children. So I've got a friend for the night. 36 pints of ginger porter. No tea for me. <laughs> Otherwise it'll ruin it. I won't have any space. No, on a serious note. Um, we'd like to thank Stuart, Polly, James, Graham... Head brewer, the lady head brewer, Jean, Jean, everybody else Everyone. down at Shepherd Neem, especially I think you all seen the unboxing video yesterday. Oh yes. Mm. Definitely a day for definitely Spoiled. a day for Canterbury Jack. Definitely a day for Canterbury Jack. I'd say. Um, thank you all for the the trip. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, thank you for giving us the chance to brew this collaboration beer. Thank you for giving me the chance to film it. Yeah. Now I'm going to put Mel on the spot. I put the two head brewers on the spot of Madison's and Magic Rock when I asked them to rate their own beer. Actually, she should put me on the spot. Ask me to rate my own she beer. Should, she should. Sorry, she. Mel should put me on the, on the spot and ask me to rate my own beer. Would you like to rate your own beer? My own beer. Should I rate my own beer? Okay. Stuart liked it. What do you think? If you could just take, if you could just pop and sort the child out a minute. Come on, rate it. Let's rate it and sign up. Smashing, absolutely smashing. The ginger's subtle. The malt is fantastic. The roasted malt. You get the coffee. There's hints of caramel. Um, it's just a wonderful drink. A wonderful drink. So. Uh, giving me, giving me the chance to, to brew my own beer. I've never been in, put in this position before to rate my own beer. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give my own beer a 9 out of 10. <laughs> 9 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide, from Real Ale Guide, 
ginger porter with Stuart Main of Shepherd Mean. Name. Can you give it a quick rating? Yeah, I shall give it a quick one before it gets spoilt. Yeah, go on. I'm gonna, well, yeah, I've got to say the same. I've got to give it a nine. It's nine. going to be nine. Honest opinion. All the hard Is that your honest that opinion? We went into, yeah, absolutely. Okay, lovely. And I don't think we're being biased either. I could easily say, oh, biased, because we helped. Didn't yeah. It? But, no, it's, it's good. Okay. That's what it is. Thanks for watching. www.shepherdneem.co.uk Or I think it's dash, the little dash Beep. in between Shepherd Neem. Thanks for watching and cheers. cheers.